is Blaine. Thanks for watching the UC Claremont College video blog. Today we're going to talk about academic advising, and especially for those of you who are freshmen who have not yet registered for classes for next fall. Uh, so welcome. Here we go. Hi, may I help you? Yeah, I saw the sign here. It says registration. Is this where I sign up for classes? Absolutely. Most per students do prefer to register online at one stop. We do have kiosks located down the hallway to assist you with your registration. If you have any questions, please come back here and we'll help you. Like, how do I know which classes I'm supposed to take? Um, an academic advisor is here to assist you with scheduling your classes and helping you meet your program requirements. I can give you a check sheet which will show you the classes that you need to take for your program, or you can go online at one stop and run your degree audit, which will automatically look at all the classes you've taken and show you where that meets the requirements for your program and what classes you still need to take. If you have any questions above that, please visit an academic advisor down the hall at Student Services, room 100. Cool. Hey, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Sure, you're very welcome. Have a good day. Thanks. And I need to meet an academic advisor. Is this where okay. I do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, like, are all the academic advisors here in this office? Some our staff advisors are here, and then there is also faculty advisors, and they typically advise in their offices. What if I'm in a medical program? Okay, your advisor then is probably at our UC East campus. You mentioned staff advisors. What What do you mean by that? What's a, what's a staff advisor? Our staff advisors are general advisors. They're able to advise most of the programs other than the allied health program. Hi, I'm Julie Egan. I'm an advisor over in Student Services, and I mainly advise education majors, pre-nursing associate degree majors, and athletes. Is it, is it essential that they see an academic advisor or not? Yes. Mainly because we can tell you which courses you have to take during certain quarters to make sure you're on track so that you're not a year delayed. We can make sure you're taking as many credit hours as you need each quarter to graduate in the time frame you want to graduate. And we can let you know if any changes have been made to your program that you may not be aware of if you don't come see me. That sounds fairly important. So that's good. <laughs> yes, it sounds very important actually. Very important. What, what's your expectation when a student comes in here? What should they bring with them? I really like it when students have looked at their check sheet and kept a copy of their program and have a basic idea of what they think they want to register for for the fall. Um, we can register you for classes in here. Sometimes it's easier if I just kind of let you know what classes I recommend that you take and you register on your own because then you can pick your own time frame. Um, but I'm more than willing to do that in here if it's easier for you to do that. Um, but just know your program and keep a copy of your check sheet. What happens to a student if, let's say they're finishing their freshman year now, they take their final exams and they stop thinking about school for the next three plus months and September 21 is looming, it's time to start the fall term and they start to register for classes you know in September or something like that w what would likely be the result for them or is, is that a problem? That is, it could be a big problem um, depending on your major you may not have all of your classes may be closed that you need for that quarter so you may then be delayed a year if you can't get the courses that's only offered in that fall. Um, on the other side is you then don't get to pick what kind of schedule you want. You're going to be forced to take the classes that are open. That may not be the times you necessarily want to do. So it's always better to register early so that you can try and get the schedule that works best for your life. And define registering early. Now. <laughs> okay so it's June now. Yeah. So what about in July? I, yeah, June, July are pretty good. August it gets a little tight and September is really tight. So if you can already register now for the fall, so I would say try and get in as soon as possible to see one of us. And we're also not as booked for appointments right now as we are closer to the quarter starting, so you have an easier time getting in to see us. If you're an incoming freshman at UC, you'll actually be invited to orientation. Now at that event, you're going to sign up for your classes after meeting with an advisor. So don't worry in that case, you don't need to set an appointment yet. You'll be contacted to actually attend orientation. But if you're a continuing student next fall here at UC, please make sure that you register now before the summer break. And I can't emphasize enough, it's a great idea to meet with your academic advisor face to face to make sure you're taking the right classes in the right order. Thanks for checking in with us and thanks for watching the UC Claremont video blog.